What's happening, jig heads? Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a little spot hopping today, and we're going after some fall crappie. Got that one. It's a good one, y'all. Another real good fish. Oh! <sighs> Heartbreaker. There it is, guys. That's what we're after today. It may take a little figure in the mouth this morning. We are post cold front. Yesterday it was in the mid 70s. This morning we were waking up to 33 degree temperatures. So big, big temperature swing. I was over here in this spot yesterday, did okay. Was hoping for some better results this morning with the weather change. So we'll see, we're gonna stick it out. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Greatly appreciate it. Got that one. It's a good one, y'all. Yeah, buddy. Catching some whites down here this morning. A little change of pace, hitting up a different spot. We're post cold front. I'm throwing some hand ties and we're putting some crappie in the bucket. Good cast, way on down the bank. And what I'm doing down here this morning, guys, is I've just got one jig, one float. I'm set up maybe about 12 inches deep, and I'm just kind of working the banks down here in this uh, little area I'm fishing this morning. Finding some fish right along the bank, right off the bat. Sun's just starting to tip up a little bit here, so action should heat up. Stick around. There's another one. Another good solid fish. This one looks like it's gonna be a black crappie. And he is a dandy, y'all. And he just smoked that jig. That is all the way back there. That's a dang good fish. I think we're gonna make a few more casts down this bank. And then we're gonna work the bank on down further here too. Start making our way down. Road noise just probably got a little bit worse because I had to change tactics. The cove that I started off in, which is just right across the way here, the fish just were not along the bank like they were yesterday. So I thought I'd come over here and pitch this float at these bridge pylons. See if we can't have some success over here actually just caught about a 13 inch fish off camera because I just got here and started off trying this little spot. So let's hope that there's a few more over there. I got that float set at about a foot and a half deep and I'm trying to pitch it to where this wind's bringing it right along these pylons I just got hit. Right there. Let's see if he takes it. did not commit but what I'm doing is we got a little bit of breeze coming through here so I'm letting this wind take and there's a fish letting that wind take and just float that uh, that bobber right along those bridge pylons and there's definitely fish over there it's just a matter of sorting through the dinkers I think we're gonna go try the other corner of this bridge Now one bad thing about fishing bridges is unfortunately I got to bring a bunch of road noise to you guys on YouTube so I apologize about that but bridges are a great place to find fish and find quality fish 
got that one. Yep, this darn good fish here, guys. Making me work just a little bit. Sometimes that work pays off. There's another good fish. It ain't as big as some of the other ones we've got this morning, but that'll definitely keep. I'll pop him in the bumper just to make sure. I'm pretty sure that's 11 inch fish. Yep, all day long. Let's see if we can't do that five more times. Got him. All he did was knock that bobber sideways. He didn't even sink it. Another real good fish. Oh. <sighs> Heartbreaker. Shouldn't have horsed him up. That was stupid. That was really good fish. Gosh darn it. All right, we'll see if there's not uh, some more out there. We've missed two. That kind of stuff happens. Is. there's another one another real good fish didn't take us long we're not gonna we're not gonna be quite as uh, heavy-handed with this guy we're not gonna try and flip him we'll just drag him on up yeah cause that's oh dang it he came off too and he broke my line and took my jig ah. Just a real quick shout out to guys. Uh, Kim Burnett from Crappie Stoppers sent me these jigs. Uh, definitely a lot of the colors that I use regularly. This morning I'm using this little blue and white 16th ounce. And we're having some success with it. We just either gotta keep them on the jig or keep from breaking our line. I don't generally break out the net for crappie, but with the way that this uh, this bridge is it's really hard to land fish so i might run up to the car if we keep on them grab my net if i'd have had that net i wouldn't have lost those last two fish all right well we'll see if we can't uh, mess around and lose a couple of more fish got a hit there on the first cast Maybe we'll catch that fish that's got my jig in its mouth. Well, there we go, we got us another one. Yeah, just another real solid fish. This one I'm gonna flip, because I think we can. Oh, and we got him up. So this bridge that I'm fishing here, guys, is about 12 to 13 foot of water out there in the middle by these pylons. And like I said earlier in the video, I'm just suspending this crappie stoppers jig. It's a 16th ounce blue and white hand tied jig, hair jig, doing that under just a one inch pair float, making casts in between these pylons and letting that jig just swing back down underneath this float. Most of the hits that I'm getting are as soon as that jig just settles right underneath that float. That's a good one. Yep, he's got it buried. We're gonna swing him. Look at him, he got chomped on. All right, number 
number seven. Let's get eight, nine, ten. What do you say? That's a stud. Oh, yeah. We're gonna swing him. Let's go. Yeah, guys, we got them figured out. We're on them. Stuck him. This is a, another quality fish, guys. Yep, he's good. Oh. Another real nice fish guys that'll do it there it is guys popped off a quick limit this morning had to work for them a little bit they definitely weren't where I expected them to be but these bridge pylons definitely paid off appreciate you guys watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you enjoyed it remember folks you can't catch them sitting on the couch I'll see you on the next one